The greeting management screens enables you to change and select various options in your voicemail. To find greeting management, it's found under the more applications and then greeting management. Let's record a new outbound greeting. Next, touch on default, change recording. You have reached the desk of Zachary Green. Please leave your name, number, and a detailed message. I'll return your call as soon as possible. Okay, we just recorded our new outbound greeting and it's already been saved. If you want to replay it, just hit replay and it will play it back to you. Let's look at other settings you can do in greeting management, like default locations. This is where you set the follow me application. Right now, I have my cell phone in the first destination, and I'm gonna add, let's say my extension number to the second location. And I'm going to tell it to ring at the same time by turning on the feature. And I'm going to scroll down and click Save. To make sure the Follow Me feature is operational, make sure it's set for an advance. And how this would work is when an inbound call comes to your station, it will ring your cell phone and your desk phone at the same time. If I change it to Route to Desktop, it will route directly to my desktop extension number. If I tell it to set for do not disturb, it will send all calls directly to voicemail. Another feature under the greeting management is extended absence. This allows you to record a temporary greeting that doesn't override your main greeting for in your mailbox. Not only that, it also allows you to set other destinations for your follow me feature. Click on extended absence and then you can see that it's already deactivated. I can easily activate it by unchecking that. If I did, it will play whatever default recording I had in my system and whatever absence locations I had defined in the follow me settings. While we were recording our new greeting, someone left us a brand new message. And the indication of a brand new message will be that yellow flashing coming from the notification bar. To see the notification, Click on the slider to slide it down. And you see voicemail flashing, tap on voicemail, and it will open right into your voicemail. Go ahead and close the notification. And then you can see the message. And we're gonna play back that message by simply tapping on it. Hi, this is Bill. I'm interested in learning more about the UC Edge app. Please call me at 555-1212. Thank you. Once it's done, there is various settings that you can do with this message, like play it over the speaker or click on the telephone icon to call the caller back. Okay, I'd like to save this message to reference it later. To do that, click on the action button and click save message. And now it will disappear out of the voicemail because it's sorted on under new. Click on the new area and I can click save items. And now I will see the voicemail, all the voicemail messages I have saved. That concludes our demo of the UC Edge application on the mobile phone. UC Edge, wherever your work takes you. Find out more on our website at telecom.toshiba.com or download the UC Edge app.